what's going on i'm back i'm back i'm back i'm back okay so tonight i'm just sitting down in front of the camera going with the flow whatever comes to my mind that's what i'm going to talk oh. about stick around stay tuned i'll show you how i stumbled up on this look which is so different i really really like it what's going on everybody so um i'm still trying to get back in the swing of things y'all i've been playing around with my phone all evening trying to get like my setup straightened out like you can be good at doing something like really good at it right and not saying that you know i was the best um content creator and everything but i had got pretty good because everything that i learned on him like how to do my videos I learned from other people videos and stuff like that but once like the point is once you like get used to doing something if you don't do it for a while you forget it and it's like you gotta learn it all over again so that's the stage and the point that I'm at now is like relearning all of this y'all I just be doing stuff in it end up coming out however it come out I know it's looking wild or not though but just trust the process. Makeup is so therapeutic. Like, y'all don't understand. Well, half of y'all about do understand. But this is, like, my little time to just, I don't know. Like, some nights I just have my little wine. Because, you know, when you're making your little, your little videos for social media or, like, your little pictures and stuff like that, you got to have your music on. Like, I don't even have my music on, y'all. But um, you got to have your music on. You got to have your little drink. You know, you just got, you got a vibe, like you got the feel, the flow, the rhythm of things or whatever. And girl, I just be all in my little temple, child. Y'all just don't understand. Why I stopped filming. Yeah, I had kind of just lost interest in making the videos. Like, it just started to become, like, weird. And then I was looking back on the videos that I had filmed and I just wasn't feeling it, y'all. I really wasn't feeling it. Like, even to this day, when I watch them videos, it just irked my last nerve because I'm like, girl, like, you're not talking. You're not interacting with the audience. Like, that's kind of how the makeup was for me. Like, not the makeup, but the um the videos. Because I haven't stopped doing my makeup. I just stopped, like, recording and doing YouTube videos. But anyway, y'all, I'm so jumpy, like... <laughs> I got this little board right here. Let me fix it. I just heard something and it was like, woo. And it, the board is like paper thin. So imagine hearing like that, woo. And you know what I'm saying? Look, I don't do, um, I don't do like the the paranormal. Like I don't do the supernatural now. Mm -mm. Speaking of supernatural, perfect thing just popped in my head. Y'all. This about to be a little mini story time. I used to do, um, at this job, I was a med tech. They used to call us PCTs, um, patient care tech, and you used to have to pass out medicine. Well, the the facility was a, um, a ALF, it's called a ALF, is assisted living facility. So what that means is basically you take care of the elder people, but they pretty much can do for themselves but you have to assist them with certain things. Like, um, majority of the people, you know, you have to assist them with their medicine. Back when I used to work with these people, I want to say I was like, I had to been like 18, maybe 19. Like I was, I was young. I'm 29 now. I just turned 29 for anybody wondering third flow. But this night in particular, I was working the third flow because you don't really know where you're gonna be at until you get to working, and they tell you from there, like, okay, you gonna go here, you gonna go there, blah, 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 blah. And when you have third flow, they would give you like the third flow and the fourth flow on the main building. But then you used to have to go to the um, the independent building and pass out medicine on the third and the fourth flow over there on that side too. So you got four flows to pass out your medicine. And while you passing out medicine, you also gotta do like laundry in between and stuff like that. You just gotta stay busy, keep the place up, check on everybody, blase, you know, stuff like that. So I never forget, I was up there um, doing my rounds and I was sitting at the desk this night. Now mind you, the whole time that I had been working there, I, I noticed like certain things um, throughout the building 
that was like questionable, but nothing had ever really stood out and really crossed my mind as anything weird at that time or whatever. Like not weird enough for me to say nothing about it. So this night in particular, y'all, I'm sitting on the um at the nurse's station. I used to have this little radio and I would play my little radio while I was doing my work and stuff. And that would keep me like busy, keep me entertained and stuff. Cause like I said, I'm a music head, like I gotta have music. So anyway, this night I'm um up there on third floor and I'm doing like my charting and stuff like that. And all I hear, mind you, we in a um uh like a old people home and this is like after company hours, nobody is really in the building that I know of you know that's like a visitor at this time okay people like they don't went down for bed and stuff and i hear a bunch of like running around like at on the the fourth floor because my mom on the third floor and i hear the um a bunch of like people running around but it sounds like little kids so i'm sitting there and i pause my little radio y'all i kid you not i pause the radio and i say well well what's going on and i'm like okay i cut the radio back on so then I hear the noise again, cut the music off, and I go upstairs, get off the elevator, and I'm looking, I'm looking down the hall, because it's like a long corridor, so I'm, I'm looking, you know, both ways down the hall, I don't see nothing, I don't see nobody, go back downstairs, so he also used to give us these little radios to keep in touch with each other while we, um, working, okay, so when I hear the kids up there again, I um I called downstairs to this uh the aide that was downstairs with me was a guy. So I don't know why people do this, but I'ma just go along with it for the sake of the video, I'ma give this man a new name. So his name is we're gonna call him we're gonna call him Julie. I don't know where that name came from, but I'ma just call him Julie. Not Julie like Juliet, but Julie. But anyway, y'all, so I call down there to the first floor to Julie. I say Julie, I say, what? I'm like, who here? So he was like, what you mean, who here? I say, who um got kids um upstairs and they got their kids running around like people not trying to sleep? Y'all, when that fool got on that um walkie talkie was like, oh junk, you hear that? Too? I say, hell yeah, I hear it too. I'm like, what you mean? Do I hear? I say, I say, what do you mean? So before he could even explain, y'all, when I tell you the first thing that came to my mind was to make a, a a bargain with him. Now, mind you, all my work is done. Like, I'm charting. I'm almost ready to clock out and go home. Like, this was like the last, just say, 45 minutes of the job. I hadn't did all my work or whatever. And the flow that he was on, he was on this floor where, like, you had to stay. It was a lock unit, so you had to stay there and, like, really tend to those people because they required more help or whatever so anyway y'all child when he hit that did i hear it too i told him i said let me tell you something julie i say if you come up here and just sit and you know sit here i only got like two more things to do i told him i come down there and do all your work so it was another lady working with us, but she was working. So first flow, this how it was. First flow had, um, you did like flow one and flow two. But on the first flow, that's where the lock unit was. So only one person would work in the lock unit. And the other person would work the other side and then upstairs on the second floor. So the lady that was working that said, um, she was there too. We gonna call. Okay, so we gonna call her Cookie. And... Remember, the guy name is Judy, um, the lady named Cookie. So Cookie is working on the first flow, and she's basically partners with Judy. But what she don't know is that me and Judy now, um, came up with a game plan that I'm going to go down there, do all his work. So basically, he won't have nothing to do. And my work is already complete, so I'm just going to switch flows with him because now I'm scared. I go down there to the first floor where he at. And at that time, that's when the lady cookie was coming through the door. 
And she was like, what you doing down him? I was like, oh, me and on. But I said it so fast, y'all, because I didn't want her to get wind and try to change nothing. So um, I was like, oh, me and Julian and already worked this out that I'm finna come down here and do his work. And he going to go back up there on my floor because my work already done. I just don't want to go up there. So she was like, why? So I really didn't want to tell her why because I didn't want her to start digging into anything. So I something was like, just tell her. So I was like, man, I was up there on third floor, y'all, and I heard all this running around, and I called Jula on the phone, and he said, did I hit too? So I'm like, okay, if you hit and and I hit, then I know I ain't tripping because how two of us going to hit the same thing, but then we go up there, we don't see nothing. I'm like, okay, that's that, that's weird, but see, you a man, so I'm going to go ahead and see you on up here, and I'm going to come down here and do your work, and we good. And after tomorrow, I'm not coming back, okay? So that was the game plan, y'all. When the lady came and she was like, man, you know when you go on the third and the fourth floor on the other side, it was these two double doors and the door was like chained. So like nobody ever went through these doors. But now mind you, the door is it's like a long hallway, right? The people's rooms are on this side. And then you got um, the door that's on this side where this side is like an inner wall that separate like basically two hallways so mind you every time we go by this door it never fails the door always go like it it, it be how you say it be jigging like back and forth but i never really paid no attention so when we was talking about the um the sounds from upstairs where i was and then they threw that in there then i started thinking and i'm like I told him, I was like, I don't want to talk about this no more. I just want to do these rounds and go home because I'm not coming back after this. Like, it's some weird stuff going on like that. So, you know, they was laughing and this, this, that, and the third. They thought it was funny, but I ain't think it was funny at all because I meant what I said, y'all. When I tell y'all I didn't go back to that job after that, like, who? <laughs> I'm not finna play with them. But when I say that was like the weirdest stuff the weirdest job that I had been on that stuff like that was happening because you know who gonna be thinking that you know they going to work and you get to work and got to deal with all this weird paranormal type stuff like that's that's not what I signed up for so that's how that ended up working out so how about how have it been going with like y'all kids if you got kids how it been going with y'all kids being out of school and like trying to juggle work and keeping your kids entertained and stuff like that man talk about it all right i'm gonna have to clean that up because it's starting to look like a toe down raccoon if that makes sense. just gonna put on a little bit of liner and some lip gloss and i'll be done now the way that i do this when i decide to put on liner and i do my makeup like this i just strictly line what's already lined okay so i'm gonna put oyster girl first i like to put a lot of this This real lady, like, this, that scene, but not her. <laughs> no, I'm talking about. And then I'm going to take this Alia gloss. Um, What is it? Brooklyn born? Oh, that's cute. I always call this the Alia gloss. I don't even read the name. That's all it is. And that's that wanted to jump on here talk a little bit chit chat from the time that I started filming this I really don't even know if I touch bases on everything that I wanted to but I kind of like how you know the flow of things went because I didn't even plan on telling y'all that little story time but um that jump was that was really something man like I'm gonna do more story time 